Hello and welcome to Slow to Fast 2. My name's Jeff. I'm glad you're here. Let's just jump right in. All right. In this series, we are looking at ways to incrementally improve the efficiency of list comparisons, also known as reconciliations. Um, in the first video, we looked at conditional formatting, and that was a nice approach when the lists were relatively short and when they both appeared on the same worksheets. In this video, we're going to take a look at using a lookup function which is a nice option when the lists are longer and when they appear on multiple sheets and when we need to look at more than one column. So here we want to look for this check ID to see if it's in the banking download, but we also want to compare the amount. So we want to kind of find the check number and then we want to return the amount back to this column so that we can then compute the difference and hopefully the difference is zero. Um, so the things to note are that the bank activity here is stored in a table named table one and that this table has two columns. The first column is the check number. The second column is the amount. Okay, so the amount is in column two. Now let's go back here and let's write our formula. Now we're going to use a lookup function and I want um, anyone who's watching this to be able to work along. So we're going to use the VLOOKUP function because it's in like every version of Excel for decades. Um, but depending on the version of Excel that you're using, you may have access to many other options as well. Um, but for this video, I want it to be fairly universal. So we're going to use VLOOKUP equals VLOOKUP. This function has four arguments. The first argument is the value we're trying to find. We are trying to find this comma. The next argument is where are we trying to find it? We're trying to find it in that banking activity table, which if you recall was named table one. And what, val what column has the value we want to return? Well, the second column has the amount. So we're going to type in a two to return the amount. And then this fourth argument is, are we looking for an exact matching check number or do you want like the closest without going over kind of thing? And in this case, we want an exact match. So we're going to go ahead and use false. We close the function and hit enter. And when we see a result like this, it means that the VLOOKUP found check 1001 in this list and returned the amount 1686, 1686. So that looks good. Now we can fill or copy this formula down. I'm just going to double click here. And now we get that formula filled down. Every time it finds a check, it gives us a number, which is good. Every time it can't find the check, it gives us this NA error. That's telling us, Jeff, sorry, I can't find 1002 over here. That means this check is still outstanding. It hasn't cleared the bank yet. So if we wanted to, we could leave these as pound NA errors. That would be fine. But if we want to kind of clean it up, we could wrap an if error function around VLOOKUP. And what we would say is try to do VLOOKUP. And if it works, cool. Let's put that result in our cell. But if that doesn't work, in other words, if we get an error, then replace the error with something else. In this case, we'll just replace it with an empty string, which we can do with a set of quotes and hit enter. And let's push this updated version down. And now it's nice and clean. So that's good. And then to compute the difference, we would just do something simple like this minus this. And we could push that down. Once again, we get some errors. So if we wanted to clean that up, we could once again use the if error function and say, try to compute the difference. If you get a result, cool, let's go with that. Uh, but if not, let's substitute something else. In this case, I'm just going to use a set of quotes, hit enter, and let's push that updated version down. And now we've got it. Okay. So that is how to use lookup functions to do a list comparison. Here we found which items appear and we were able to retrieve a related amount. Here we're able to see which items don't appear and we can see that um, as well. Okay, cool. All right. Um, hey, thanks for joining me. Have a great day. This video is a production of Excel University. 